Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. So in today's video, I'll be doing an overview of uh, dictionaries and uh, sets in Python. So I'm gonna start with the dictionaries, which are uh, built-in data structures in Python that allows one to store and work with the collection of objects or items. So in dictionaries, you'll need to have a key and a value pair and the key has to be unique. That means that you cannot have uh, duplicates uh, in your keys. Uh, also, the, the dic dictionaries, uh, just like um, a list, can be changed. That means they're mutable. You can think of a dictionary as a table with the two columns and multiple rows. So each column column will represent like the um, the key value, and then the the second the first column is the key. The second value is um, is the actual value. So the, the key allows you to look up the value. Uh, an example of data that would fit or that would be per perfect to be stored in a dictionary is that an example here that I have. Let's say you have like employees and you have their data like a name and then the name, uh, for instance, here I have a name and then the name is uh, Joe and then gender, male, department, engineering and so on. So this kind of data can be stored in a dictionary. Here I have an example an example of a dictionary. So if you have an employee and then inside the, the name of the dictionary is employee and then a, a dictionary here. In a dictionary, you'll use a curly braces and then inside the, the curly braces is where you have like a key here, have name, and then the value Joe, gender, the value male and so on. And then you separate the, the key and values using a col column here. And then you separate the different pairs using a comma then you just close that, close out your dictionary using curly brace. And to see, uh, you can also print this out. You can just use the print statement and, and print this dictionary out. So uh, just like the list that use the brackets uh, to access the uh, items inside a, a list, when using a dictionary, you can also use the brackets to access the item. So here, if for instance, I wanted to access the value of the name, all you have to do is just type in the, the name of the dictionary and then use inside the brackets, put the key here, which is name, and that should print out or uh, access the, the actual value associated with that, the key name. So here if I remove this comments and print this out. As you can see, it prints Joe, which is the, the key for, I mean, the value for the key name. You can also use this uh, brackets notation to add a new uh, key value pair to a dictionary. So for instance, in our employee dictionary here, if we were looking to add the age of the employee as a key and then the, the value for that employee, here I have the employee. What you need to do is first type in the name of the dictionary employee and then inside the brackets here, type the new, the key and then equal sign, assign it a value here, which I'm, uh, I've assigned 99. So before adding the value, this is what we're getting. Uh, if I, after adding the value, we should add, we should see that the new uh, key value pair is added. So let's go ahead and print that. And as you can see here, we added age and the uh, the value for it. Uh, next thing we want to look at here is um, how to loop or how to iterate over a dictionary, just like any other sequence or data structure. You can use the for loop to access the items dictionary. So here I have a for loop. And one of the methods available for dictionaries is the items method, which allows you to access the key and uh, the value, which are returned as a, a, a set of tuples. So we'll use the items method here to access the values as well as the keys inside this uh, dictionary. So we, uh, here I have for, for k uh, v in employee.items, print the employee's key, uh, k, uh, which will be as represents the key, is v, v is the value. So you have to specify two variables here because like I said, items returns a tuple of uh, the key and the value. So if we go ahead and print this, it says the employee's name is Joe, the employee's gender is male and so on. Since dictionaries items are not um, ordered when you store them, if you're looking to retrieve them uh, in a sorted version, you can use the sort uh, built-in function to sort out the dictionary before you say print it out. So here I have a view sorted, and then here it's just, just the same statement. I just sorted out the key value items before I print them out. Okay, so if we go ahead and uh, print this out, 
it's just gonna sort them out for you before it retrieves them for you. And just like any other object in, in Python, to, to see what methods are available to you and the attributes, you can use the DIR built-in function, and that should give you uh, all the attributes here and the methods. So these are the methods that are available. We already seen, we've already seen items here used. Others are update, set default. To get more information on, say, uh, one of the uh, methods, you can use the help built-in function here. Just put in the uh, dict. This is how you refer to a dictionary in Python. And then let's say set default default method. It should tell us what it's um, what it does. So yeah, it says insert key with a value of default if key is not in the dictionary. So you can use this to in initialize a, uh, a key or a key value before you um, add to it or before you make any changes or if you try trying to access it. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you you get a, like a key key error. Uh, you you get an exception. Here is just a, a quick example of how to initialize um, a key. Like I said, if you if you try to access a key uh, value in a dictionary and it does a key doesn't exist, then you will get a key key error. So for instance, here you no know, oranges key. If you try to add its value, yeah, this is adding the, the value for oranges key two by one. You're gonna get you will get an uh, an error here. So it says uh, key error oranges. So because oranges doesn't exist, but if you go ahead and uh, initialize it first, this is how you would initialize it. You just assign it a value of zero. And now if you try to add one to it, you should be able to add to it without getting the key error. All right, another way to initialize, you can use the if statement. If it's in the uh, dictionary increment, if it's if it's not, just initialize it. That's what pretty much this uh, code is doing here. Another uh, way to initialize that's much simpler is to use the set default method. So I have set default here. I passed in a key. You have to pass in a key and then a value. It's gonna check if the key is there. If the key is there, then it doesn't do anything. It doesn't change the value. But if the key is not there, it's just gonna add that key and add whatever value you put here. So in our case, since we don't have oranges here, it's gonna add oranges key and then give it a value of uh, zero. That's what it's doing. You can also have nested dictionaries, which means that you have a dictionary inside uh, another dictionary. So here I have an employee's dictionary. And what I've done is I've added two dictionaries inside of uh, this dictionary. So I have employee one, as a, uh, a key and the, the value is actually a dictionary here. Same thing with employee two, uh, but this is employee two is the key and then the dictionary here. Now to access the items inside a nested dictionary, uh, you can use, you will still need to use the square bracket notation. So for instance here, I'm, I'm just trying to access the value of employee two, which is the key which is here, the value is in the dictionary. So if I print it out, let's just comment this out and print just the value of employee two. And as you can see, it just gives me this dictionary right, right here, the second dictionary. And if I wanted to access a specific item from that nested dictionary, which we just printed out here, right here, say I wanted to access the name, what I'll do is I'll use the same notation, but then I'll add an extra bracket here. So I added this bracket here, referring to the name key, which should give me the, the, the value here. So now if I uncomment this, I should get just the name Eno printed out. The employee's name is Eno, which is employee's name is this uh, the value for mem, which is the key here. And the next thing we'll look at briefly is the um, the sets. So sets are also um, built-in data structures in Python. Uh, the main difference is that they don't allow duplicates. So the sets are also unordered. They don't maintain the order of, uh, of the items when you input them. When you If you try to retrieve them, you can't rely on the order that you input them. So I have an example of two sets here, set one and set two, and then I have them printed out. So we'll go over quickly some of the methods that are available with uh, sets. Again, like any other object in Python, you can use the DIR, and then this is the notation you'd wanna use to look at what methods are available to you. 
Let's see if this is going to work. And that gives you the attributes that are available with the sets. Okay, we'll comment this out. And then here again, the same set one, set two. Uh, one of the methods available to us with sets is the union method. What this does is it's going to return a new set containing all the items that are found in both of the sets, um, but it's going to remove any duplicates. So for instance, here we have 75 and 75, 80, 80 are shared. So those are going to be duplicates. It's not going to have them twice. It's going to have them only one time. So let's go ahead and do set three here which is going to be uh, returned after we do a union of set one and set two. And as you can see here, it's, it's going to return, even though we have a total of eight, it just returned uh, six and we didn't do uh, 75 and 80 twice. So it removed do those duplicates. Okay. As a ma matter of fact, even if, let's say if I was to add 90 here and then try to print set one. So it, doesn't add that 90 even though I added it, it just removes the duplicates. Okay, another method here we have is the intersection. What this does, it's gonna return as new, a new set that all, only contains items that are common in both the two sets. So for, the, for instance here, we have 75, it's common, 80 is common, 85, 90 are not common, 95, 98 are not common. So it's gonna, just gonna return these two. So if we print this, it should give you 80 and 75, which are common between the two. And finally, you have a symmetric difference, which is just going to return what's the opposite of what intersection does. It just returns what's not common between the two. 95 is not common. 85, 95 are not common between the two, and 80 and 90 and 98 are not common. So these are only here, and these are only here. So it should, it should return 85, 90, 95, 98. So that's what you get because they're not common between the two. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you, bye.